Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a little thrift flip. I have recently found my favorite thrift store in the area and I've just been finding absolute gold. Like this, this is a nightgown. But is it a nightgown or is it a nice luxurious evening gown? Who's to know? So let's just get started. First, I'm gonna show you what I found. I'll do a little try on and then we'll just get to altering. First thing, this one is the most off the wall thing I found, risky. So I'm definitely gonna bring this in on the sides and I'm 100% gonna shorten it because it is very long. All right, the next dress is also very cute, but very, very big for me. I am going to bring the sides in. I'm gonna fix the straps because it's coming off. I actually might not shorten it. We'll see how this one goes. All right, now we're moving into the men's clothing. <laughs> Something I always do is check the men's section at the thrift store. You could find flannels, you could find sweaters, you could find oversized shirts like this and just tie a little knot. But I found this button down and this is the softest fabric. I might either crop the bottom and just do like a little rolled hem. I might leave the curved shape that the bottom has right now, but just shorten it. Those are my only ideas. So TBD. The next thing I found is very similar to the last thing, but this is just a really, really good quality denim shirt. And I'm just gonna crop the end. <laughs> Love a good crop, bet you didn't guess I was gonna say that. Um, I'm gonna fray the end because it's denim. This would fray really really nicely. All right, everyone loves a good flannel I went to the thrift store specifically looking for a flannel I was at PacSun the other day and I saw this cropped just guys everything in this video is about to be cropped I just I'm just gonna warn you, but I saw this cropped flannel and I almost bought it, but it was like $40 So I'm just gonna cut this crop length and then hem it super easy all right moving back to the women's clothing i found this lovely skirt very different pattern than anything i would typically wear and it's also very tight like i probably should skip breakfast and only wear it in the morning if i'm gonna wear it and the length of the skirt says i am middle-aged and i'm a secretary in an office which I'm not. So I'm definitely gonna shorten this. I think it'll be real cute, except that it's really, really tight. Okay, all right, and the last thing, this one's kind of weird. I don't know if I should even put this in the video, but it is just this cute little pajama set. I don't know if it gives off like old lady vibes or if it gives off five-year-old vibes, you know? So what am I gonna do to this? I'm gonna crop it. If you learn anything from this video, it's gonna be how to crop a shirt. I might also shorten these shorts by like an inch. We'll see. All right, that's everything I found. So now I'm just gonna try everything on, mark them up a little, put some pins in, and then we're gonna start sewing. So let's get started. <music> First of all, it's getting real hot in here, so I put a different shirt on. I'm just gonna show you real quick some tools that I keep on hand when I'm sewing or doing alterations of any sort. You need some measuring devices, a straight ruler and a floppy ruler. I have some fabric scissors and some clippers. Taylor's chalk. I use this every time I sew. I love it. It's erasable. A seam ripper. Guys, if you watch my videos, you know this is my absolute favorite tool in my whole sewing collection and it was a dollar. I have some thread in various colors. And last but not least, this Singer Talent sewing machine. That's what we're gonna be using today. All right, so we are gonna start with the pajama set only because I already have pink thread in my machine. All right, so I'm gonna lay the top out and figure out where I put my pin, but first we need to figure out the hem allowance. So say I wanna shorten this shirt by four inches total. Well, I know I wanna do a little double fold hem on the bottom that's an inch total. So that means I'm gonna cut three inches and then leave one inch for that double fold hem. 
Okay, so I decided I wanted to cut four inches off, so I'm making marks all across at four inches, and I'm straightening my line with a ruler. I'm also gonna take this little button off. Now, if you notice, I've just followed the curved hem that the shirt already had, but then I decided I wanted to do a straight across hem. So I'm gonna straighten my line and cut it straight. Now for the shorts, I'm only going to cut half an inch off, but if you look, there's already a seam here at around half an inch, so I'm just going to use that as a guide and cut along that seam. After cutting this, I realized that I don't really have as much room to work with as I thought I would, aka these shorts are about to be real short if I do an inch double fold hem. So I'm just going to do a 5 eighths of an inch rolled hem for both the top and the bottoms. Okay, so to do a rolled hem, I'm gonna start by sewing a straight stitch at 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance. Now I'm gonna fold the edge of the shirt up to the wrong side. I'm folding it up about an eighth of an inch past that seam that we just sewed, which you can barely see. I'll press it and sew it along that first seam that we sewed. Now I'm gonna trim that seam allowance down short, about an eighth of an inch away from the seam that we just sewed. And this is just gonna take away some of the bulkiness. Finally, I'll fold the hem over one more time, but this time about a fourth of an inch away from the seam, which you still cannot see, but it's there. And I'm just gonna do this all the way around and sew it down along that original seam again. And I'll do the same exact thing for the shorts. Oh my gosh. These pajamas are looking real cute. Wow. I feel like my mannequin's butt is a little lopsided. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this little floral dress. So I'm definitely gonna bring this in on the sides by, let's measure by about two and a half inches on each side. And the other thing we have to fix is this neckline. It's way too big. The first thing I'm gonna do is seam rip the straps off the back. Number one, because they're already coming off. And number two, because I need to shorten these straps and bring them in a little bit, which will kind of make this neckline a little bit more narrow. Plus it's coming in on the sides, which I think that's much better than that. That looked the same. It'll, it'll work. So I'm going to grab my little seam ripper and rip the straps off at the back. Okay, that was easy. Okay, I'm going to start by marking two inches away from the edge on both sides, and that will leave me half an inch for seam allowance, and then I'll cut it. And since this is such a lightweight fabric, I'm going to use a French seam, which you know I love my French seams. To make our lovely French seam, we're going to flip the dress wrong sides together. So flip it on over and I'm just pinning it together on both sides. And we're gonna sew our first row of stitching at 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance all the way down on both sides. Now, just like any French seam, we're gonna trim the seam allowance down about in half. I'm gonna press it flat, flip it right sides together and then pin it down. And then I'll sew my second row of stitching at 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance because 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 1 half, which was our total seam allowance. Okay, then I put the dress on to figure out how much I wanted to shorten the straps and where I wanted to put them. So I'm gonna end up shortening them by an inch and that will leave one inch for seam allowance. I'm just gonna fold the strap down once and then fold it again and then place it onto my dress and I'll sew it down. Now this is me trying to take shorts off of my dress form as if it were a skirt. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> this is so cute. This turned out so good. All right, dress number two is done. Now we're moving on to the skirt and the flannel. I'm trying to organize these by what color thread I need so I don't change my thread a billion times. All right, I'm gonna put some black thread onto my sewing machine and load my bobbin. Load my bobbin. That is the weirdest sentence that I've ever said. Okay, starting with the flannel, I'm gonna mark an inch and a half below where my pin is. This is gonna leave me enough room to do my double fold hem. Now I'm gonna take that button off. Okay, for the double fold hem, I'm gonna fold it up by half an inch press it down, and then I'm gonna fold it by one inch. And this just helps avoid some of the bulkiness. I'm gonna pin it down and sew it along the pinned edge. 
For the skirt, I'm doing almost the same thing. So I'm just gonna leave myself an inch for the hem. I'm gonna do another double fold hem, but this time I'm gonna fold it up by half an inch and then another half an inch. I'll pin it down and sew it. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Is there an easier way to put bottoms on a dress form? Maybe they're only meant for dresses. That is a very good possibility. Just trying to get it over her big booty. Okay, here we go. Over the booty, get over the booty. Ooh. Wow. This is an outfit if I've ever seen one. All right. This skirt is also very tight on her, so that makes me feel better about myself. All right, moving on to the green shirts. We're almost done. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to hem this one shorter or longer, shorter or longer, but I went with longer. So I'm giving myself an inch and a half room for another double fold hem. I'm gonna cut it and then I'll fold the edge up by half an inch and then by one inch. Again, this just avoids some of the bulkiness since this is a heavier fabric. And I'll just pin it and sew it down. All right, let's put it on our girl. Just pretend that she's wearing pants. Okay, this is so cute. For the next green shirt, this one's so easy. I'm just gonna cut it exactly where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna take a fork, the best fraying tool in the world. And I'm gonna pull out the horizontal threads. I'm gonna cut the little scragglers and that just left me with some vertical threads on the end. I love it. Wow. Okay, the sun is going down, so we need to hurry. <laughs> okay, our last item, guys. We made it. First, I'm gonna cut off the bottom. So I'm just making a mark where my pin is and I really did not leave myself enough room here. I cut that a little bit too short. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it in on the sides. So I only need to cut half an inch off of each side and there's already a seam there. So I'm just cutting it right along that seam as a guide. And since this is another lightweight fabric, we're gonna do a French seam. So you know the drill, wrong sides together. So a first row of stitching at 1 4th of an inch. Trim the seam allowance in half, fold it right sides together, and sew our last row of stitching at a fourth of an inch again. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna do a rolled hem just like we did with the pajamas. So we're gonna sew one row of stitching, fold it up about an eighth of an inch past that row of stitching. We're gonna make another row of stitching over the one we just sewed, trim our seam allowance down, fold it up again, and make one last row of stitching right where our old one was. This dress turned out just a little bit shorter than I was planning. <laughs> this one might just have to be a pajama or a dress for hitting the club. I don't even go to the club, but that might be what this will ever be. <laughs> but before I end this video, let me just do a little before and after for everything that I made. it to the end. I am so proud of myself that I didn't really mess up on any of these except for the red one. But I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something. If you liked it, then give it a little thumbs up. 
Also, if you do any sort of thrift alterations, I would love to see it. DM me on Instagram, send me photos. I love when people send me projects. It makes me so happy. But yeah, hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.